Which one of the following sentences would most logically complete the passage? If we're going to logically complete the passage, we need something that's consistent with what the author has been saying the whole time, not Marcus, or however you say that guy's name. So, which were we debating here? It's between A and B. A and B. <laughs> Therefore, while in principle there might be grounds for holding that advertising is detrimental to society, concession, right? Yeah, it could be detrimental because of what everything that they've been saying. The Marcusian critique does not provide such grounds because of what we just said right at the end, right? People actually may buy things be knowing that, hey, it's not going to satisfy their needs perfectly, but they've satisfied them somewhat in some extent. Okay, and you were saying B as well, right? Therefore, although Marcusian claims about advertising are rationally justified. I didn't like that phrase. Yeah. It seems a little yeah. strong. I just never thought so. Rationally but... justified sounds... See, like... While in principle, there might be grounds. That's a lot softer of a concession. This is going a little far. The mistake of many recent critics of advertising is in their use of these claims for political gain. That's also a little strange. No, Alice, would you agree? No, it is strange, yeah. Yeah, um, the mistake is in their use of these claims for political gain. I think it's just that their claims are wrong, not that they're doing it for the wrong reason. Right, so any other answers that are attempting in 21? Uh, yes. E for me. Which one? E. e. Therefore, Marcusian critique of advertising is mistaken. Okay, that sounds good so far, right? It's mistaken. Except in its claim that advertisers exert economic power over those few people who are unable or unwilling to distinguish real from false needs. I thought that this problem, this exception, like sort of takes away the entire argument because... If that's true, then you're going to cover a lot of people. <clears throat> Did you feel like this exception was... Wait, what do you mean cover a lot of people? Well, I felt like this argument was basically saying, hey, well, I guess it doesn't necessarily cover a lot of people, but what was I thinking when I read this exception? Well, I felt like it kind of, I, I didn't feel like there was anything in this passage that said you, you could have this exception and that it would thus apply. Did you feel like there was evidence for that? Uh, maybe, but I also read it fairly fast. I thought that at some point he said something about how even uh, it very well may be true that uh, they can't distinguish between their needs, but it doesn't mean that this is a bad thing. Essentially. The reason I didn't I didn't choose this one, but I didn't choose it because of economic power, which I also think is arguably not a reason not to choose it. Uh, I think the economic power was referred to in the first paragraph. Uh, disproportionate power of corporations, um, which would probably come from profits. Uh, I guess I was having trouble looking for something in the argument that said, hey, this is this is wrong except in these circumstances. It seemed like it was just in general this is wrong. Like the exception kind of seemed to create a sudden gap in the argument mm -hmm. that I didn't feel like was there. And I could be wrong, but um, I'm having trouble seeing that exception. Like why would you end with that conclusion? Yeah? Um, so and what? Question 16, I just thought, I went to D, wrote C, and 